Hi, this is my review of the, v I'm not sure how you say it, but Viva heart rate monitor. And what it is, it's a Bluetooth and Ant Plus enabled heart rate monitor. So you can use it with things like your Garmin. Uh, Garmin this is a Garmin 220. I've used it with the Garmin 310. And it also allows you to use it with your iPhone. So if you have an app on there where you want to use your heart rate, you can definitely use it with this. Another cool thing is, is if you're wearing this, um, it, here's, here's what the strap looks like comes in a little package like this um, is if you're wearing this it allows you to pick up data from like a cadence meter or a foot pod or what uh, a power meter and it'll send that data t from the chest strap then send it to your phone so your phone's app can actually get information from Ant Plus enabled devices um, so let's say you were running with uh, the Strava app and you wanted Strava, actually I don't know if Strava uses uh, FootPod data, but it, there's a RunKeeper app, there's a RunMeter, RunTastic, um, the 4i app, I, let's just say Strava, and you wanted to get your FootPod data or your power meter data um, uploaded to the phone. Well, a lot of times uh, phones don't have Ant Plus, and so you have to have this extra dongle. Well, if you're wearing this heart rate monitor here, um, it'll send data to your phone via Bluetooth, but it'll also send not just your heart rate data, but the data from your foot pod or your power meter or your cadence meter. So that's that's a pretty cool thing. Now I've tried heart rate, I typically just run, and I've tried heart rate monitors in the past, like the Garmin heart rate monitor, and the thing I've had problems with is the first 10 to 15 minutes of your run, the data is really inconsistent, it's all over the place. And this is a newer heart rate monitor, so I thought I'd try it out. It was around $80 on Amazon. And uh, I thought, well, cert certainly with an $80 heart rate monitor, the data is going to be a lot better. But I found the same problems. Um, unless you're a heavy sweater and start sweating right away, it still needs that wetness to uh, connect to your heart rate. Um, you know, water is a great... Uh, has great conductivity so that's why it has to be wet so even if I go to the sink and get this thing wet yeah, I'll get great connections right away but then it dries up a few seconds later and I've got to wait till I start producing sweat again before I get a good connection so that's just always annoyed me about heart rate monitors and this is one uh, is the same there's also some gel that you can buy to put on those connections and uh, I that's just uh, it's such a hassle I, I don't like doing it but if you're gonna, if you want something that'll connect to your uh, phone as well, this is going to be something uh, that will work. Uh, it's it's got all the same limitations as any other heart rate monitor, like I said, with the connectivity. The main thing I used it for was my heart rate variability app on my phone called Ithalete, and I used that to put this on in the morning, and then it would measure my heart rate variability. Since then, I've gone to the finger sensor that Ithalete produces because that's just so much easier just to put on in the morning you, you put it on a little dongle on your finger it plugs into your phone and it gets your heart rate uh, right away whereas this one I've got to go moisten it in the sink and then strap it on my chest and it's, it just takes longer and I ended up not doing it as much so that's just my review of this uh, heart rate monitor you know it's got some those, those cool features because it's a dual it's got the Bluetooth 4.0 plus the Ant Plus so it, it can uh, you know, help you out quite a bit. You could you could basically run without your Garmin if you had your iPhone with you, and it would take uh, your your cadence and your power meter and your foot pod and upload those all to your phone via Bluetooth. So uh, that's just my my two cents on this. Thanks for watching.